Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Ultimate Oktoberfest by Founders Brewing Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share that notification bell. If you have not done so, check us out on social medias. Links are below in the description. And come say hey on Discord. We have our own Hopped Up Beer, beer Review Discord server that we would love to see you come and join us on. I have got Andy in the attic. I have got Jay. I am Ben. What are we drinking today, gentlemen? Today we are doing an Oktoberfest, but it's an ultimate Oktoberfest. Ultimate. Founders kicked it up a notch. So Founders Brewing, Grand Rapids. This is the Martson, aged in bourbon barrels. Let's crack it. Oh, wow. First thing I notice is under the cap. Got a little... Uh... Barrel aged. Probably didn't come through very well, but it does say barrel aged series on the cap. So this is they take their regular Oktoberfest, the Martin style, and they age it nine months in a bourbon barrel. Did not indicate on the website which bourbon barrel, which type of bourbon, and actually their website did not even i couldn't find this on it we have reviewed the regular oktoberfest so cheers mates cheers mates cheers mates hmm. and percenter so we did their um the founders Oktoberfest. You can the link might be below, perhaps. And we have done with Porter, the Founders Porter. That was mm -hmm. again That was early. Um uh, yeah, over a year ago or about a almost a year ago. Excuse me. Yep. So you can look at that for a lot of information, but they just don't give that much information on the website. So I don't have much on the history of it. So that's, they're known that's for a lot of their series, aren't they? Like the the uh, Kentucky Breakfast Stout was that Founders, the Casey uh, KBS, KBS KBS series mm -hmm. where they they do their breakfast stouts and age them in uh, bourbon barrels and lots of those. The Backwoods Bastard, maybe. Don't know. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Don't know that yeah. one, personally. Yeah. This doesn't uh, doesn't seem like ten percent. They have an old bastard. Is uh, that's what mm. I know. Founders has the old bastard. It's got the little red faced man. Yep. Yeah. So what did you say this was, Andy? It's a is it ten ten point ten percent ten percent even. Yep. yep. Any IBUs or anything? They didn't provide it on the website. Again, they. They were tight-lipped on everything. Well, I'll tell you, this has been one that, you know, we say this from time to time, uh, as we kind of get our inventory up and we trade it around since we don't all live in the same area, uh, you know, we have to uh, sometimes uh, exchange beer between the three of us uh, so that we can all have the same beer for the show because we can't always get the same beer in our locations, but um, this has been one that I have been super excited to try uh, since uh, I think Jay actually found it mm -hmm. um, yep. for us and uh, grabbed it uh, a little while back. So um, definitely, definitely one that I look at in my fridge and have been tempted <laughs> to just open and, you know, claim it as missing <laughs> when we can time to review. So well, I'm glad you didn't, Ben. Uh, I'm glad we got to share it together. Um, what was that I have had this before. So, oh. 
Uh, that's I had, what I was about to ask. Yeah, I, I had one before, and and I will say it it seems to get better with age. Um, I'm kind of a little surprised at that, but from what I recall. Yeah, I mean, this was um, shown and bottled in July um, of 2022, and here we are in March of 23. So it's, you know, one we've had for a little bit, uh, but uh, yeah. Who wants to go first? I'll Me or you, Andy? Because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and go first. I, I went back to... Uh, rewatch our review of founders regular Oktoberfest just so I could kind of get an idea of the base. Um, And we had mentioned in that after, especially we did, we reviewed that after our advent calendar, how it was more like an American brewery making the German style Martzen darker, more of a, malt character to it this amplifies that malt care character all i taste is caramel and it's in and booze it's almost like oh what is that um screwball that peanut butter whiskey shot Mm -hmm. that you can do this reminds me of like a caramel almost like a caramel whiskey shot Um, But just all very low because that's like 30 percent this, you know, of course, like a 10 percent because all I would taste on this is sweet caramel booze. Um, And so I was really wanting more out of this. And it's just uh, kind of falling short for me. I was pretty excited, too, to to try it. But um, I don't know. It's just it's like a sugar bomb. uh that said i'm gonna give this one honestly i'm gonna give this one a six this doesn't do it for me and i like martin's um yeah uh (laughs) thanks are you are you you done (laughs) sorry y'all i was i wanted to like it well, uh, I too wanted to like it, and I'm giving it a six as well, uh, but for a different reason. I don't taste sugar on it uh, for me. For me, it comes out almost like if I was drinking bourbon that was extremely watered down is, is how I how it comes across mm-hmm. for me. Um, I don't really taste any of the Martson beer anything. I mean, it, it, it strictly tastes like a, like a, 10% bourbon, you know, I mean, it's just like flat for me. Um, so I, yeah, it, it, it's, I, I'm honestly a bit disappointed because this, again, this was one that I was really looking forward to given how much I like the October fest, Martins, fest beers, all those kind of beers. Um, they're typically some of my favorites and, you know, Hey, mix that with a, a you know, bourbon barrel and, that sounds amazing. And I go back and compare this to the uh uh Ida effects uh Ida effects. Ida effects that we had uh at Ghost Train when we were there on site. And man, I mean those things blow this thing out of the water. Um mm-hmm. it's just it's from the flavors person. that you get out of uh their oatmeal stout in the various bourbon barrels. Um so Again, if you want to check that video out, uh, I'll put the card up here and the link in the description as well. But um, yeah, it's just it's just flat uh, for me. Uh, so six. Yeah, I guess like you pour a glass of Makers, you let it sit out overnight. You wake up the next day. Oh, OK, I never finished it. So it's like, nope, nope. Like a flat Coke? Is that what you're yeah. Alluding it's to? Like, yeah. like a stale whiskey. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just watered down whiskey to me uh you know so yeah i can see that. Well, i think um uh, ben you kind of stole some of what i was going to say but uh, you know that's perfectly good wonderful um I, I think basically you're you're hitting the nail on the head that's why the brewers 
use oatmeal stouts or stouts or dark beers typically when they are old style ales when they put them in bourbon barrels because the bourbon barrels um even just being a barrel itself that's gone through that process it, it imparts so much flavor that it overpowers everything else and i think if you, you took a martson or a, if you took a lager or a pilsner you'd end up with the same um effect where i, I think founders probably tried to use use this as a i won't say a gimmick but as a sales point and the reason i think that's part of the reason that they only did it what would we say eight nine months in the bourbon barrels none so you know they make the marts and that's probably two three four months put it in the bourbon barrels for nine months most of the time when when breweries are doing things that are barrel aged they're putting them in there for a long period of time eat effects if you remember that was I think they had said those were somewhere between 14 and 24 months. I mean, it was a long period of time and they imparted different things. I mean, you could see in the different barrels, it was crazy to, to just think one came out, you know, kind of dark Brown. One was almost black and had completely different flavors. One was kind of like raisins. One was chocolate and one was boozy who knows if the same thing happens with this and the ultimate Oktoberfest, they might've come up with the recipe with a certain bourbon barrel and it come out a different way. I mean, there's, there's all sorts of ways to look at it. Um, all that said, um, I, I've always been a big bourbon fan on top of a beer fan. So to me, yeah, it might be a watered down bourbon, but I still kind of like it. So um, I'll give it a seven. But yeah, it's my watered down bourbon. <laughs> By God, <laughs> I, I think to your point there, Jay, um, that you know when we had the eat effects, we knew what the bourbon was for each mm -hmm. of the of the ones we were trying. We have no idea what kind of bourbon is being used here. And again, if you go back and watch that review of the eat effects there at Ghost Train, the different bourbon barrels made such a difference on the beer yeah and i don't know maybe maybe the the bourbon barrels they're using are low quality bourbon you know yeah i mean um, you look at it you think this this is a macro brewery ghost train is what what do we qualify them as they're they're a micro i would assume mm -hmm. out of birmingham founders of the macro that distributes across the country they're likely going to have to get something that's uh blended blended bourbons your your mass quantity bourbons if you will the the lower end ones and they're not going to identify each one of them so and that's yeah. a lot of storage capacity that they have to take up putting these things in um for nine months uh, and, and a lot of barrels they have to collect to do so too it's a lot of barrels and to to identify them all and keep track of that i doubt that they take time and effort hmm. uh, they might i mean uh, i'm not saying that founders didn't do a good job with it it's just they don't identify it they're limited on their quantity of information and we know. just don't know yeah hmm. if found, if founders wants to comment we'd, we'd love input and and if they want to send us samples of something else we'll try yeah <laughs> you are <Yeah. laughs> hey once they get on the wall of fame they'll get the plaque so they'll they'll know, right? <laughs> you ain't gonna get there with this one. Not today. No, not today. Would you rate it? Uh, seven. Se seven. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I I do like bourbon, even if it's flat bourbon. I mean, come on. All right, that is going to be a six point three for the ultimate Oktoberfest from Founders. Uh, hey, have you had the ultimate Oktoberfest? What do you think of it? Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, you know, I think it's interesting. I'd, I'd love to know at the end of the day what bourbon barrels they use here. Uh, I doubt we'll ever find out, but uh, I'd love to know that just so we can kind of make that comparison. Again, if you haven't checked out our video uh, from Ghost Train on the Eat Effects review, uh, very interesting. It's probably, honestly, one of the most interesting reviews that that I think I've been a part of. 
because it was uh you know the same beer in different bourbon <laughs> barrels and it's the closest had... to a taste test that we do or a blind taste test i mean exactly so it was just a comparison between the same beer with multiple bourbon barrels it's it's it was really cool, uh, and, and, and you know, uh, not that this is a ghost train video, but hats off to those guys <laughs> for for providing that. Uh, if they happen to be watching this, uh, that it's being like said, going on a date and talking about your ex right now. That's <laughs> what it seems like. So, ghost train, if you're watching, hey, give me a call. Uh, <laughs> we we really want you back. <laughs> yes, we miss you. Uh, uh, if you have not done so. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Hey, we definitely Smash appreciate it. you guys uh, checking out this video, <laughs> checking out any of our videos. Uh, we we enjoy doing this. Hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoy it uh, at least somewhat because we probably enjoy it more than you do because, hey, we're drinking beer. You're not, uh, at least <laughs> while we do it. Anyway, uh, as Andy would say, end it. Uh, for Andy in the attic and Jay, I've been. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.